I can't believe who I got. Original from Star Trek, Nichelle Nichols. How are you? Yes, I'm, I'm very, very good. I thought we'd catch you on a Friday because we know the weekend's going to be crazy. The weekend's going to be really, really big. It came in early so we could set up, and all of a sudden there was this big rush, and then things calm down when things open on Friday, Friday, and ever. We try to get all the interviews in because when the fans are here, we're not getting involved with that. And she's got fans already ready for her. And you have a book also you wrote? Oh, it's one of a trilogy. This trilogy, this is uh, Saturn's Child. It, uh, the original is Saturn's Child. This is the second, Saturnus Quest. And the third one will be out in another, probably another year. How do you enjoy writing? I love it. I've always written, so it's, uh, uh, it's, it's kind of a natural extension of what I do. Do you like a peace and quiet when you're trying to write? You know, like I need oh, yeah. my own kind of thing, oh, right? Oh, yeah. I need oh, my space. I I get my space. I I get away from home and go someplace where nobody knows me, and uh, and that's how we do it. Well, I looked at some of these pictures of you. You are totally looking the same. I think you look gorgeous. <laughs> I love you to death, and I'm so Thank glad you. we were able to take a moment of your well, time. You have, let, yeah, I would, uh, if I was an agent, I'd be going, uh, she's versatile, look at her, she can do it all. So yeah. thank you once again. To sh thank we you. we got to get those books. We've got a trilogy coming out, people. Glad, glad to be here with What's Up. That's me. Anderson, you guys know him. I know we got Bionic Woman. I mean, there's so many shows you've been in. Tell us a few of them for the fans out there, the younger little 15 year olds that say, I know that man, but I don't know what from. Well, there's always the Bionic Woman, too. We well. love her, our six, $6 million dollar man. $6 million man. Dollar man. And uh, done about, uh, well, I guess about 60 motion pictures, uh, including Hazard Glory. How young were you when you started? As an actor in yeah. film? I was 23 years old, uh, although at 20 I was uh, attending uh, classes and uh, did some radio in those days. Did this started, and then I did a a show called Lights, Camera, Action. It's like American Idol. Oh, really? And, so forth. and I won three times, and the town was mine. Everybody was calling me. Billy Wilder was calling, and, and uh, Metro was calling. I signed a contract with Metro, where I did 24 movies that are playing on Turner Classic Movies, if you want to be interested. You'll see stuff. 24, people. 24 Turner Classic Movies. And we're having... He's, you, it's good you're here, because I heard directors are coming up to you, and, you know, you're going to be getting... Well, they, yeah, no, they, no, he says he admired the, the way I work, and uh, he's someone that works on the big ones and wants to know if I want to do it. I saw him, well, I'm not... I'm sort of picking my spots now. I do a lot of voiceover and uh, do these conventions. I like people. Like to talk. Well, we were thrilled when we saw that you were going to be here today. Look at, he's got pictures of all these different shows. You can get them here. And um, have you done the Comic Cons before? Yes, I have worked on one or two, and now they've invited me uh, to uh, become uh, a regular and go to some of these other places. And uh, uh, I found that they have the best kind of uh, professionalism in this, in this kind of work. So uh, th the thing that's interesting is that everybody loves movies. Everybody right. loves movies. And I'm here today, and I'm here tomorrow, and I'm here uh, on, su on Sunday. And uh, the lady I've uh, worked with is coming tomorrow, uh, Lindsay Wagner. Everybody, Lindsay Wagner. And uh, we all have a good time together. Right. We know you're the one that was responsible for making them work. We got uh, Lee Majors and uh, Lindsay Wagner. They couldn't have done it without your help. You were the head honcho on that show to me. I didn't even watch them. We saw you. It's Richard Anderson's on it. I got to watch it. So, hey, thank you so much for your time. I know you're going to be around another 50 years doing movies, and I'm going to go watch them all. So, well, thank yeah. you. The, the reason hey. for that is that I'm bionic. That's why. You are. <laughs> that, I, I was wondering. I was hoping. So, thank you so much. Have fun, and we'll see Richard Anderson again soon. Well, Jenny Lee Harrison, how are you? I'm very good, thank you. So we all know her. She replaced Suzanne Summers. She was in Three's Company. We've seen her on Dallas. We've seen her sell products. She's amazing. And uh, are you excited for this weekend? Yeah, I always love coming to Orange County. Uh, I see uh, at your booth you have so many wonderful pictures of yourself. That these, I know the fans are just going to be grabbing them, grabbing them, grabbing them. It's all about me, you know. That's why you do. You know there was, a, you know what? There's over 200 celebrities here, and I only came to see you because I said, oh, okay, you're here. That's it's why I got here. Me. I got here Friday so early, and I said, okay, Jenny Lee, Jenny Lee, Jenny Lee, and I was worried I couldn't wait any longer, so I had to find you. Bless your heart. Uh, have you ever? Do you ever come to Orange County very much? I uh, actually. 
said the sister that lives in Orange County. She she like runs. She's a big deal at um, Irvine Hilton in Orange County. Oh really? Can I get a discount? Actually, uh, <laughs> Are you and staying yeah, at the Irvine Hilton? I actually um, I actually lived in Long Beach for a long time, so I was close. So, well, yeah. if you're ever in Orange County, you should hook us up. What's up, Orange County? We in the studio. We'd love to have you as a That's guest. Awesome. But I know she's going to get busy, 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 folks. So we're lucky to nab her when we can. And in fact, I have a brother, kid brother, who they live right this side of Cota de Casa, and he's a firefighter captain from Medford, Orange County. So I love Orange County. I'm an LA girl, born and raised, California girl. So yeah, it's have, very cool that you guys are here. Have you been to any of the Comic Cons in the past? I. They've asked me to do these shows for years, and I know it's like this subculture thing about these shows, and I never did them. So I've just started, and I'm having a surprisingly wonderful time doing these. And so this is like my third one, and uh, and I guess so. I'm doing this one, and I think they have me booked. I'm going to do the Detroit Motor City Comic Con. Wow. So so I am. I'm having a really good time. Surprisingly, I mean, it's like. Uh, because I thought it, I don't know, I just thought it would be kind of weird, but it's really nice that the people that come up to you, they genuinely, you know, have followed your career and really appreci appreciate the entertainment that you brought into their households, and it's, uh, it's just been really, really nice. It's really nice to sit there and have people all day long tell tell me how much they like you and enjoy your work. Yeah, we go so home, we look in the mirror, and we go, okay, I'm not so bad after all, right? Oh, no, you are beautiful. Me, I live, Let me oh, you. thank you. I live, I live on a farm, so really? I have a little ranch, so oh. I'm mucking stalls all day long and in jeans and no makeup, so so it is very special when you, when you dress up and they go, oh, you still look good, so I very much appreciate it. I wish we could have seen her in the stalls, folks, but we couldn't, so anyway, oh, thank you so much. You have a fun heart. time. Bless your heart. Yeah. Nice meeting you. Okay. Everybody come to the Comic-Con come to other ones and rock on Orange County. There awesome. we go. We spell Bob Bob Black Sheep. Oh, I remember Sorry, Robert Conrad. Another um, television series that we did in Chicago called The Duke. That was for um, NBC. And then I did uh, Magnum. And then I did a reoccurring character on Marker. Anyway, the beat goes on. Yes, it but, does. But um, I just finished a picture called The Sinatra Club. The Sinatra Club, people. This is Larry Minetti of everybody you can't recognize him. He's from, you know, he's from my uh, Magnum PI, but he's done a lot of other things. You just finished a uh, movie? What was that? The Sinatra Club. It was the uh, story of John Gotti and the gang, and they called it Sinatra Club because in the social club that they hung out in, the jukebox was full of Sinatra records. Go figure, right? Oh, really? <laughs> so have you done any of these comic cons before? Or? No. No, I haven't. I'm enjoying this. Oh, okay. It's the second day. It's a lot of yeah, fun. Yeah, they get crowd more and more busy. We were here yesterday to try to get some interviews, and it was kind of mellow, and we know well, that more and more crowded well, throughout the weekend. You know, Magnum was in the Mad, Mad comic book, and I'm oh. searching for the episode, so... So if anybody can find that episode, help, I appreciate yeah, it. There we go. Well, anyway, you have a good time this weekend. Everybody, I know your fans are lining up, so have a good weekend. Hey, you guys, Larry Minetti has a book. It's called Aloha Magnum. You can get it. Where can you get that book? Get this on the internet at LarryMinetti.com. LarryMinetti.com. I looked through the book. It's looking cool. You got to get it. Five star book. Yes, it is. It's Gil. Gerard, Buck Rogers, Star Trek Phase 2, everything. And you are on maybe what we call the Anaheim Comic Con Tour. We need you. Well, it's good to be here. Good. It's nice to be down here in Anaheim. Were you at the Toronto? Uh, yes, Saturday? I was. Mm -hmm. So we're just early morning people Saturday, so we know the crowds are kicking in, so we get like 30 yeah, seconds with them. All the people are coming in now. Is it uh, great to meet with the fans and yeah, see? Yeah, I enjoy it. It's really nice. They come by, they say hello, they generally say nice things. Yeah, but I, I think Erin also from the show, Erin Gray, yeah. there she is. Hey, she's looking good, isn't she? Oh, yeah, she, she really is. is. Hey, she well, will be when she gets here. Uh, yeah, I, oh, you blew my cover. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's all I could do is bother you for a second. That's Thanks, right. nice to meet you. Have a Thank good you. weekend. Thank you. Thanks. Hello, I talked to Gil earlier, and I found Erin, Erin Gray. She was also on Buck Rogers. How are you? I'm great, thanks. Are you excited? Oh, very here? excited. Look at this crowd. It's I fabulous. know it's early, and there's all these people. So I, I don't know. know what it's going to be like later today. Are you here all weekend? I am here all weekend. I have also have uh, 10 of my clients here as well. Oh, really? Yeah. So I noticed, yeah, there's so many beautiful pictures of you, and I figured, I thought, okay, that was taken last week. I don't think that you've changed at all. <laughs> nice, nice. Yeah, your your mother brought you up right. she, I was trying to think out of the 200 celebrities, I had you like, I think you were the top of my list of my favorites. Oh. You're looking pretty. Oh, okay. You're looking good. I get a hug on this one. Woo! 
I got an interviewer for maybe tomorrow too. <laughs> so anyway, you have a good time and thanks for spending a minute with us. Nice to meet you. Nice meeting the you. fans are so excited she's here. Hello.